Welcome back guys to another episode. Today we are gonna head off to Stereo One and we're finally gonna get LED bulbs for the headlights so we can actually drive this thing at night. But unfortunately, I need to remove the battery because unfortunately after we did that drive, uh, when I took the car out to Santa Barbara and whatever, I came back the next day, I tried to start the car up, the car would not start because it was low on battery. And then I started it up connected a little battery pack thing and started it up left the car on for a good while try to restart it again and the battery was dead so i would think i might need a new battery i'm gonna remove it and then when we go head off and go get the the led bulbs we're gonna stop by get the battery tested make sure it, if it is the battery or the alternator so we'll find out which one of those two it is and if it's a battery i just buy a new battery and then we'll be good to go and the car will be okay to drive Right now we're just waiting for George to show up and then we'll head out. And we got a new tool to play with guys. Low profile jack. Got it from Harbor Freight. <laughs> so it's one of the cheaper ones, but it's fine. It does the job. So we got George back in the vlog with a set of G37 fenders. Hell yeah. Should I tell him or you tell him? Tell him for anyways. All right. So, the plan with these fenders is we're going to make cut them up and I'm going to make custom fenders with the same vents that I have on this side. And he wants louvers on this side as well. Four, the five, vents. eight type of... There's, a, there's one, four, there's a, I don't know if you guys know the guy that I'm talking about. His name's Danny. He has a 458 RDRA full carbon GTR. Well, on his 458, he has these badass vents that go all the way through here. And yeah, so we're gonna do a similar st style to that with these in all metal. So it's gonna be a fun project. Let me get my Looking at George's car, I feel like yeah, I should have kept the IPL bumper. Just record this shit, fuck. Way. Oh, it's gonna fucking scream. <laughs> fucking car is dirty. No mames, you see way lava. Dirty as fuck. I didn't even scrape that bad. Over there? Yeah, where the keel was. Finally off. Interstate battery. Surprised it lasted me, lasted me quite a while, so that's good. Good to go. George's car is over there. And we got Ruby over here. We're taking away the fenders now. All right, we are here, Stereo One. What's up, man? How you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. good, good. Now, let me stay away. Just big, big. keep distance, keep distance, keep distance. What, what, oh, oh, Just oh, in case, oh. I don't know if I'm sick, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get sick. So we have it. So all the people that have asked me before what LED bulbs I got, these are it right here. Uh, yeah, we're changing stuff around. So there we have it. It's like the store looks the same for 249. So you have it. You guys have to come to Stereo One to come get these. Stereo One in Oxford. So for everyone that kept asking me which LED bulbs they are, here you go. And Stereo One's got them. How did I do it? Right? Oh, and what's the Big being what? generous. Looking it up. <laughs> Gave me a little extra. It's out there, yeah. Valux. 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 Yeah, whatever you want to call it. Valux LED premium LED headlight bulbs. So, stereo one. Only place to get them. Fenshop.com. Here's their address and their phone number. So, just give them a call. Let them know that I sent you or George sent you. Can I drop off the hood hinges what it sucks from the G35? It sucks. Well, 
And yeah, this is the guy I sold the front bumper to. Damn. A little low. And it looks good with the splitter too. I wish I had a splitter when I had this bumper. But, and that same grill. It makes it look more aggressive. Use battery. While we're here at Oxnard, battery. All right, so Oxnard batteries. If anyone wants a battery, 100 bucks. Six year warranty. Anything happens to it, they can replace it. So here you go, go Oxnard battery. The new battery in, and now we're back. George gonna be adding some silicon to his rear view camera. And I'm gonna try to wire up the headlights. And if that is done, I should be able to drive my car tonight to the gym. Battery is in, so. Okay. Alright, so new battery's in. Let's start her up. You don't have the keys for come get us on. the car warm up and everything rpms are below one now so that's really good right now i was taking off the front bumper so i could start wiring in the headlights so now that the car's warmed up rpms are back to normal i'm gonna turn it off now and let's get started on the headlights bulbs and right here we have one of the old ones so this is the same bulb as i used before except they just cut the tips you add these little connections so you could tap them into the, I'll show you guys right now. So right now I gotta, I might end up giving these to my cousin who I sold the headlights to. We ended up putting one of the bulbs, one of these LED bulbs on the passenger side when his HID went out. So we're gonna put this one back on the driver's side and he'll be good to go after that. So let's get these out. So here we have the plug. Surprisingly these, plug right into the G35 ones. So it's gonna be the same thing how I did with the G35 um, LED bulbs. This one's supposed to connect to the blast. But, so we're gonna tap into, once we connect this, we're gonna tap these two wires and then we'll be able to plug in our LED bulb and then this goes right in and it should everything should work just fine. So right now I am gonna plug this one in like so. You guys heard it click. So that's connected right there. And thank you to Stereo One for providing these. All right. So these into the black and green wire. You just pinch one at a time. If I could separate them farther enough. Okay. And there's one. And I just apply some pressure to actually latch it. Just like that. Same with this one. And green one as well. Same thing and connect it so this one's already this is my old one remember guys this is my old one so you're gonna have to just cut this end off and then you add these connections to it so it's so it could be like a plug and play type of thing so black with black connects right there and then the red with the green connects right there and then that should turn on. So right now I'm gonna turn on the headlights. And if this, this is supposed to clip right onto this. As you guys, uh, I can see it has the old HIDs in here too. So let's get that out. It's got the old HIDs. These are the stock ones. They probably still work, maybe. Let me see. It looks like they do, huh? Yeah, they do work. 
but we don't need that anymore. So here we have this LED bulb goes right in and then you just put the little ganchito down back how it's supposed to be a little hook a little hook or ganchito whatever you want to call it it holds the bulb in place there's the other okay so this is how it should look like you don't need a blast you don't need an hid let's just prop this up back how it was all right look right here Cool. Into the bone. Moment of truth. We're gonna find out. If my headlights work. That's quartz. Or wait, that's auto. All right, so that's fog light. Oh yeah, I had the fog light switch on. Fog light switch. It works. Okay. It's on oh, no. What the hell? What about the HID or the LED? No, this those is turning it on. Those are your lights then, right? But they're not supposed to be my lights. Well, that's why. All right, so let's figure out what is... So I just connected this one because this one wasn't even connected. The quartz are on. Wait, do you have the quartz on? No, wait. You don't? No. What the fuck? Shit's all weird. This one's prending a fuck light and that one. Well, I tried turning it on because this one wasn't even connected at all until right now. <coughs> See, you have them on. Really? That's the quartz? Yeah, the fog, both fog lights turn on. That's off? That's on. That's still on. But that's why it's making the beeping noise because yeah. it's still on. Yeah. That's cuartos. No, no, that's full of lights, full of headlights. But you turn off the fog lights? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so both fog lights work. I'm guessing that one just doesn't have the bulb, the amber turn signal on the top. Wait, Do I, I think the key's inside. Turn the switch and put the turn signal for the passenger side. Is that the turn signal? Yeah. Okay, so it's not making anything for the turn signal on this side. Are you sure you're putting the passenger? Okay, so turn signals don't work. That's for sure. But at least the quartz turn on. Turn on the fog lights? Both fog lights turn on. Oh, that's weird. That's weird, that's weird, it's weird. All I, I mean, all I care about is getting the main bulbs to work. So that's what we're trying to figure out right now. So, we just found out that it will turn, well, since the car is on, with the fog light connections, it'll turn on, but not with the, the last, how it should, should be. So, right now, watch, it's on the, right there, it's supposed to turn on, it doesn't, not even if we try it the other way around, nothing happens, but when we put it on this one, we thought... The red goes with the yellow and the black with black, you know, like, that's how black with black always goes with black. It doesn't turn on. But then when we put it backwards and we put the red with the black and the black with the yellow, then boom, it turns on. So I think that's how we're going to have to wire these. And I'm just going to have to have the fog light switch on inside the entire time whenever I want to drive at night. And then during the day, I could just turn the, like, I like to have my uh, taillights on because um, my taillights are really black. And just so cops won't pull me over for tinted taillights, I put the quartz on so at least those stay on. And then like this, I can just turn off the fog lights and the headlights won't turn on. But at least we got, we figured it out and we know that it's um, the black with red and the uh, black with yellow. And then they turn on. So that's how we're gonna wire these up. All right, so right now George is fucking around with the wiring. We have a we have it on auto right now, so we're trying to see what works without having to have the fog light switch on, and that will turn on the LEDs. So it's it's really weird how it's not 
working the way it should be like I did with the G35 headlights. But at least we may have figured out a way of how to turn them on. So we'll figure it out right now. All right, so it's getting pretty dark right now, guys. So wired up and connected, red with black and black with yellow. So let's connect or let's start it up and see if it will actually turn on. So. There you go. So now it turns on perfectly fine. So this one disconnected the fog light and connected the LED to the fog light. So we're gonna do this one next. We're gonna put it all back together and then we're gonna take it out to the gym tonight. Wait. All right, so after figuring this out, I was about to start tapping these in. And these are the original connections of the LED right here. So these are the original connections of the LED. So on the other side, I actually cut this off and was gonna wire, I cut it off because I thought the wiring was supposed to be the same like I did with the G35 and tap it into the, where is it? The the one that goes into the blast, which I think is this one right here. But it turns out if, since I'm connecting it to the fog light, the fog light ones connect right up to this. So this just connects, i to do it with one hand, but there, there you go, see? So just plug it in like that, one on each side, boom, boom. This is good to go. Just take the cap off right here. Oh, fuck, I think cap is tight. Oh, fuck. And yeah, this one doesn't even have the HID in there. As you guys can see. So just get the little hook up. In. Like, oh shit, we took the little thing off. Huh? Huh. Yeah, you took it off. How'd you take it off? Did you twist it or no? Twist it, pull it. Right. Turn them off, por mientras. Oh wait, never mind, got it. Okay, so this. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, no mames. What? Ahí no está prendida la fog light. What is it? It's an auto? Yeah. My tail lights are on, huh? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. At least it's working. Wait, but you see how they dim down? Yeah. They dim down a little bit. So I don't think they're acting as high beams all this time. No, they're not, huh? Otherwise, it'd be higher up. Oh, I mean, fuck. Whatever. Uh -huh. Nah, but you need them high. Yeah. Yeah. But if you don't use the fog lights, they're normal. Just like headlights, normal. What the fuck? But then, if you want to get up higher, boom. Oh, shit. Here we have it. Both of them. Turn on. Just fine. Headlights wired up. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to be sanding these down and polishing them up making them look all nice and pretty because they look like shit they really do look like shit put everything back to how it should be and let's head off to the gym all right there we have it look at that headlights work headlights working perfectly Tail lights are on. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So here we have it at the gas station right now. Waiting for George to show up. And then we'll head off to the gym. We're gonna do gym and then we're gonna get the car the car wash. I know, God forbid. I know for sure Ruby needs a wash. A good spray with the power washer so all that metal shit that you see like right there all that rust and stuff all that all the little pieces of metal can go flying off and they're not they won't be on the car anymore so we on George to show up and then we're gonna head out all right we are here at the car wash gonna wash the car rinse down everything 
on it. We got George over here with his. But yeah, just gonna get a car wash right now, real quick, so I can get off all the little bits of metal because they're starting to rust, and I can tell they're they're all over the car. It's hard to see, but like once you're here in person and you actually look at the car, you'll see like little spots of metal rusting away everywhere on the car. So. Give her a good wash, I'm gonna open up the hood, wash the inside as well so that could clear out. Looks like it came off pretty well off the wrap, but either way, this wrap is gonna come off and I'm gonna redo it again, how I said, in the same color, but just because I love this color, but this wrap is all gonna come off, so I don't really care for it much, but I'll, on the trunk, I feel like I need clay bar the whole thing. I need clay bar the whole car before I even wrap it. Plus, I know I think after I remove this wrap, it's gonna end up with some residue. But nonetheless, car got its first wash in months. I think probably two months now. And it's looking really nice. All right guys, so I'm gonna end today's video right here. Wiring the headlights so now I can actually drive the car at night. We got a new battery and everything lines up and I could drive the car normally again. RPMs are below one. And as we were, me and George were talking about it, um, after we wired up the headlights and all that, we noticed that they're in really, really, really bad condition. And let me just show you guys. So these are how the headlights are as is right now. And you guys could tell they are pretty, or they, they are bad. They're, they're really bad. They are super fucked up. And you could tell if it zooms in, look at that. You see, if you guys see that crystallization right there, how it looks like, those are micro cracks. And it's not just on the inside, on the outside of the lens, it's on the inside of the lens as well. So. These headlights are pretty fucked up and they will need a lot of work. So what I'm considering, so I'm really considering on just getting the GTR style headlights. The the ones from that one's worse. Look at that. Yeah, so this one's worse. You guys can see all those micro cracks on the lens. Look at that shit. Yeah, so these are, luckily for me, I got these headlights for free. I didn't have to pay anything for them. The, Fuck, I forgot the guy's name, but shout out to him. I met him at um, Nice Fest. He had the GTR style headlights because these were his headlights and he hated them. So, so yeah, these are pretty fucked up headlights. I mean, like you can't even see clearly through the lens. Look at that. So these are pretty fucked up headlights. And I think I'm just gonna go with the GTR headlights. Plus GTR headlights look more aggressive with this whole look and it'll make the whole car look nicer. As you guys can even see while the projector is on, like, look at that, it looks like shit. Like, you can kind of see better through right here than up here, like up here you can't see anything. Same with this side. You can really see all those micro cracks. So these lenses are fucked. Super fucked. Look at that. You can barely tell the projector is even in there. So yeah, these headlights gotta go. But for the meantime, we know how to wire the headlights now. We know how everything should go. And yeah, that's basically how we're gonna do this. And we're not gonna modify these headlights anymore. I think I'm just gonna get the GTR ones. I can't afford to modify these headlights right now. It's a little out of my budget. Plus the work these lenses would need, uh, I would need to have them a shop, sand them down, clear coat them, and then even then they won't come out perfect. So I'm just gonna buy a new set of the GTR headlights, rock those for a while, and then modify them after that. But for anyone that's been looking for those uh, LED bulbs, the ones I have, uh, yeah, hit up Stereo One or hit me up. I can get them for you guys. Again, thank you guys for always supporting the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.